good morning today i am going to demonstrate a half hour experiment circuit for this experiment we require the following components ic7486 xr gap ic7408 is and gap back person digital ic20 this is the logic diagram of the half hour circuit and this is the two table in this experiment a and b are the inputs two binary inputs and we'll get the sum and carry output so the 7486 xr get output is a exclusive and get 7408 output is a into b so connect the circuit first connect the ic 7486 here Sun four zero eight here. Lock it properly. Now pin number one of the seven four eight six is connected to Y. So pin number one to Y. First input Y. Next, the same pin number one of seven four eight six is connected to AND gate pin number one. Sun four eight six pin number one to AND gate pin number one. Next. Seven four eight six pin number two is connected to B. Second input. Seven four eight six pin number two to B. Our second input. Again the pin number two of seven four eight six is connected to AND gate pin number two. So seven four eight six pin number two to AND gate pin number two. Next. Seven four eight six pin number three is connected to output sum. Three of seven four eight six is connected to first output sum. Then seven four zero eight pin number three is connected to second output carry. So seven four zero eight pin number three is connected to second output carry output. Next connect pin number seven to ground for both ends. Seven four eight six and seven four zero eight. Next pin number fourteen of seven four zero eight is connected to fourteen. Again, pin number fourteen of seven four eight six is connected to VCC. Next switch on the trainer. If both the inputs are zero, you'll get sum is zero and carry is zero. See? If both the inputs are zero, we'll get zero zero. So the next condition is A is zero and B is one. So you will get one zero. When A is zero, B is one. You will get one zero. So the third condition is one zero. For one zero, you will get one zero one day. One zero, you will get one zero one day. So the fourth condition is one one. If both the inputs are one one, you will get zero one. If both the inputs are one one, you will get zero one. 